Hello, Namaskar. You are watching Good Morning, Alan. Here are the top five updates from the world of science and technology for this week. Researchers develop eco-friendly carbon-negative concrete. Washington State University researchers develop a carbon-negative concrete formula by infusing cement with biochar, reducing the industry's carbon emissions. This environmentally friendly concrete reaches strength comparable to regular cement while absorbing up to 23% of its weight in CO2 from the air. The research could significantly reduce carbon emissions of the concrete industry, which is one of the most energy and carbon intensive of all manufacturing industries. Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship rocket explodes mid-flight after the launch. Elon Musk's company aimed to send the nearly 400-foot Starship rocket on a round-the-world trip from the southern tip of Texas near the Mexican border. It carries no people or satellites. The plan called for the booster to peel away from the spacecraft minutes after liftoff, but that did not happen. The rocket began to tumble and exploded four minutes into the flight, plummeting into the gulf. After separating, the spacecraft was supposed to continue east and attempt to circle the world before crashing into Pacific near Hawaii. A mobile vaccine printer could enable rapid vaccination of large numbers of people. MIT researchers have come up with the possible solution to this problem. A mobile vaccine printer that could be scaled up to produce hundreds of vaccine doses in a day. This kind of printer, which can fit on tabletop, could be deployed anywhere vaccines are needed, said the researchers. The printer produces patches with hundreds of microneedles containing the vaccine. The patch can be attached to the skin, allowing the vaccine to dissolve without need for a traditional injection. Once printed, the vaccine patches can be stored for months at a room temperature. IIT Indore collaborates with NASA to develop low-cost camera setup. Indian Institute of Technology IIT Indore in partnership with NASA Caltech and the University of Gothenburg in Sweden has designed an inexpensive camera setup that can capture multispectral images of four chemical species in a flame using a single DSLR camera. Previously, capturing such images required a complicated system with four cameras, but this new setup can simultaneously capture multiple spectral three-dimensional images of four chemical species in a flame using only one DSLR camera. India approves National Quantum Mission. The Union Cabinet approved the National Quantum Mission aimed at propelling India into a leading position in the quantum technology sector and promoting economic growth through its development. The mission seeks to expedite progress in the field and cement India's position as a major player in the industry. Currently, six countries including the US, Canada and France have quantum technology. So, these were the top updates for this week. Have a good day.